Somehow that's all the twelve. Right? All in favor of it today? I know. Oh, that's it. It's wrong today, then, boys. <laughs> no minnows, no fry. Come on, same order. Mr. Roberts wants a word. So just, just a quick one about the two matches coming up. Uh, the feeder champs, which has is, is just snowballed. Didn't realise it would be as big as it is going to be. Um, so we didn't take money up front for tickets. All I'm asking you, if you've booked on, or if you've booked on behalf of anyone else, just double check everyone's coming, because pegging is going to be a nightmare if people don't show, okay? So I'm doing it on trust. Next year it'll probably be different, but um, if I could just help me on that. And the other one, the two-day festival. I've got a very long reserve list. Lots of people wanted to get on. The deadline is Friday. If you haven't paid, I won't be chasing you. You just don't get on, okay? So if you can just make sure all that sorted. That You're an odd man. Right. Hard but fair. Learned off you. Half ten, half three. Oh, half ten, okay. Go on, Hi guys, so here we are. Uh, this is the last of the Winter League on the River Wye at Belmont, um, and I've drawn peg 26. Um, arguably the worst peg on the match, <laughs> certainly um, in the team, as far as the team is concerned. My objective today is to just try and catch a fish. I mean, they blanked off this peg last match, and um, so uh, I think I'm in the worst area of the section as well. So. Uh, we shall see what we can do. Um, minnows are banned today. No, so there's no small fish or fry. Can't go for them today. So it's a bigger fish or bust. Um, I haven't got many options really. It's a, a downstream wind, it's freezing cold. Um, I'll probably opt for a feeder across. This used to be the old Peg 22, and I know years. Um, Years gone by, uh, they have weights been off this peg when there was uh, more chub in this area. Uh, but you never know, there might be the odd uh, Lone Ranger around today. Um, my objective is to try and catch a grayling, to be honest, in the first hour. And I won't be feeding anything, just little uh, nuggets of uh, earth, you know, just create a cloud in the water. Uh, you don't want to feed grayling because, um, not like normal coarse fish, unless you've got lots of grayling in front of you. Uh, they're predatory fish and they're. they're uh, they may need fly eaters and um, uh, insects eaters, but they will take a maggot. And uh, <clears throat> so, I say, I'll run that through for the first hour on the float, uh, bulk down, and see what happens. Um, and apart from that, then just uh, sit and pray on the feeder. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, <laughs> just about to start. I've got a, a window feeder given to me by Bob Nudd. Uh, a couple of years ago when I was in Ireland, um, I was getting out-bombed, out-cast by uh, a young lad next to me. And uh, I had a look after and he showed me these feeders. And I said, where'd you get that from? He said, Bob Nudd. Well, Bob Nudd feeders, anyway. Later that day, I bumped into Bob. I said, hey, what's these feeders, mate? <laughs> anyway, he said, we got that. I said, no. Next day, he brought me a bag full. You know, I still got them. <laughs> well, I've lost half of them already, but uh, cracking little feeders, you know, because you can put a, a minimum amount of bait in and, um, you know, and you can get long distances and seems to work on the Y sometimes. See so how it goes today, anyway. Uh, as I say, just about to start the minute. It's bloody cold, but it's dry. That's the main thing. Can not put there. No. <laughs> Uh, I said she's frightening all the fish, but I thought there's no fish here to frighten, so... <laughs> uh, well, all good fun. Okay, see you in a bit, see how I get on.
Right, well, there you go. Um, hold the go, and I guess that's a chub. <laughs> um, apparently, they're struggling in the section. A uh, couple of days below me, uh, I think Spud's got one day, so you never know. I might be able to shout for the section with that one chub. Although, saying that, um, it has fished reasonably well, um, so I gather. Uh, Chalky up the tops at seven barbel on peg four. Uh, Adrian Whittles had a barbel and there's a few other um, chub being caught as well. Well, sorry about that. Uh, I had to get off quick because I had another bite out of day then. So, hey, last hour, all of a sudden, getting some action. <laughs> After like four hours of uh, oh, nothing. Um, in fact, um, I did have a, a bite early on and I, I think it was a trout because uh, the maggots had been punctured rather than sucked so uh, um, there you go as I said uh, some good weights today just unfortunately I'm not you know in a month of fish today but there you are fishing's fishing and it's a team match and you just got to keep going and you know do it for the team I suppose <laughs> all right see you in a bit Is that it? I think it's all over.